In today's video, we are gonna be taking our basic structure that we built in the previous video and building it into our massive Bozozoku lip. Since you've last seen, we have completely wrapped around the fiberglass here. Just in the center section, we knocked out that cross beam, and now we are gonna go ahead and knock these both out. That way we can continue on and fiberglass them all the way over. And then from there, we're going to add a bunch of bracing all over this entire thing so it doesn't sag at all and is completely flat. And then once that is dry, we can move on and start doing everything else. Now that we have this middle spine in here, that is all of the structure we are going to need going that way. All the rest is going to be going perpendicular to this. Um, we don't need a ton out on the outside here because there is going to be the giant flat wedge that's gonna go all the way from the very tip of this all the way to the back of the front flare. So that's gonna be super structural there. Everything else is really just gonna go this way just to keep it from bending this way and then the middle sagging. We got all of our pre-cut strips here. We're gonna trim every single one of them. We're only gonna do four in each section. So we're gonna do four here, four here, four here, four here. And that should be enough. That's only gonna give us uh, you know, a little bit of space in between where there's not gonna be very much support and I think it'll be okay. Um, again, we're trying to keep this thing relatively light. It is already extremely heavy and it's going to be heavy in the end, but there's no reason in absolutely overkilling it with the bracing when we don't absolutely have to. So now that we have this front lip up and mounted and everything is nice and dry, it is time to start cutting it down and then we're gonna start building all of the rest of the sides and the front lip part of it. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to use the side skirt since we know that it is pretty much perfectly parallel with the car. We are going to measure from here in there and make sure that it is the perfect same amount of space away and that way we know that this line is perfectly parallel with the car and that way we can make this line here perfectly straight 
from where we want it to be on the car here, matching up with the flare, straight all the way across here. So that is what we are doing with this line. We're gonna measure it out on both sides and then from there we can trim it and then we'll know how we can make our uh, slight uh, pointiness here in the lip just like we did on the hood. So now I have all of the edges of our fiberglass not only mounted up, but I also went ahead and put up some fiberglass on the backside. We have to wait until that dries, and I wish I would have done this sooner, but what we're gonna do after this is done is we're going to pull it off, and because the runners are perfectly flat, or they're the same distance from the ground all the way across, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to set them up either on jack stands or on the cinder blocks here. Uh, we're gonna put it up on there, that way I have enough room to get under there, and I'll fiberglass all the way around, that way everything is nice and solid. And then from there on the sides, we probably will be adding some sort of support that goes from here to here, some kind of triangle or something, just to make it a little bit more sturdy, but we'll see once we get there. So I was able to get this thing up on the jack stand, even with these side pieces all being fragile and not even 100% dry yet. Um, but now that it's up in the air, we can go ahead and start glassing all the way from behind. And this is pretty much the best way to do it because I'll be able to get all the way behind there, all the way across, but it'll also be in the same exact position as if it was on the car so I can get these side pieces perfectly flat along with the front as well. So I have it fully glassed from the back side, or at least for the most part, I did try and avoid these. I would have taken these off, had the little stitches that we made, uh, or the, you know, smaller pieces behind that we put initially would have dried fully, but I didn't want to take those off quite yet. This is pretty much where I'm going to end it for tonight and end this video because I have to wait for this to fully cure before I can start messing around with anything else. In the next video, we're going to make these caps and we got a, another major piece to this car in. So you'll see that in the next video, but this is where we're going to end it for today. I wish I would have had this thing completely set up and on the car and we could have taken it out and get nice shots, but it's been really cold. It's been snowing lately and also this thing has been taking just a lot longer than I thought it would. I know a lot of you guys are going to comment on how absolutely massive and long this thing is and yes for the usual person it is absolutely huge and just looks massive and especially in the area that I'm in right now it's very hard to film the the whole car overall unless I turn it sideways or have it over off to one side which I'm not able to do right now because I'm working all the way around the front uh, but we will do that in the next video when we finish this thing off but uh, you'll see how proportional it looks and how good it's going to look with the rest of the car and compared to other Bozo cars This is a very you know medium and normal length for them This thing is really starting to take shape and I'm so excited to just get this thing on there and, and take it outside and see how Ridiculous it looks anyways guys if you are interested in helping out the channel and the progression of this car I do have shirts hoodies t-shirts and stickers in the description check them out Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed and peace out